Ooh, there's a bunch of stuff here now. Uh, oh wait, something looks like it's right there. I don't know, it's just the map, but it looks like there's something right here. Oh, Ooh. stairs. So there's stairs. Should we, should we climb them? Uh, Levi, why don't you fly up there and see if you see anything? Okay, I'll, I'll do that. And I'll fly up there and take a look. And off goes my head. You go up there and take a look. So at this spot over here, you see embedded in the wall are two keyholes. Mm. These keyholes are um, bronze colored. Bronze colored keyholes. Ooh, we need bronze. We need bronze now, guys. Okay, so up there. Okay, so that's gonna probably be the exit. Maybe. I'll and come back. I'm just, I'm gonna grab um, Al by the uh, shoulders and try to say that there are two keyholes that need bronze color keys. Like, so that he can understand me. All right. So with my lips. I think I get the gist. He, he can't understand the bat. Yeah. Okay. okay. All right, let's so find we're... some keys. Gotta find some keys. Um. All right. I th should we keep going? But I don't know. This kind of looks like the exit. Should we try um, using our daggers to pick the locks? Um. Well, it seems very specific to be bronze keys. Well, true. And maybe, maybe picking lock with the silver dagger might cause us pain. Oof, there's so many turns and twists. Alright. Um, keep going down or up? Down? Up, dead end. I think we're hitting... Alright, we're looking for an anvil statue, I think. Hopefully. I think there's another pressure plate over here. Did you find another pressure plate with, okay. foot, with feet, outlines of a footprint on them, of two footprints on them? Mm. Okay. So, unless there are more feet pressure points, I think two of us need to stand on here, or one on here, one on the other, and then one has to stand on the grate, and I think the grate will open. For one of us. Looks at one. What is he saying? <laughs> but do you think we need to stand on here? What if we just conjure something? Maybe it just needs some weight on it. Isn't it worth a try? We can definitely try, but it seems specific. Whatever we conjure specifically need feet, I think. Well, can't we conjure like a statue? With feet? I can't. Maybe you can. Juan, how good's your conjuration? Should I give this a try? Uh, where's my body when I need it? <laughs> She's off making out with Finn. <laughs> it's Rox's chance to finally make out with Finn like she wanted to. What do you and say, Juan? And guilty about it. Levi is going to be like, and he's going to step into the pleasure plate. Oof. Oof. The pleasure plate? Oh, <laughs> I think. <laughs> All right. Loses his so, feet. The pleasure plate. Okay. So you step on the... Uh, Levi will move on to the pressure plate. Okay. Um, you'll, you'll step onto the pressure plate, and you can hear the pressure plate lower. And you hear a click. But nothing happens. Nothing okay, else happens. Okay, so... I now will gonna signal the two of them be like Yeah, we have to go to the other one. One of us has to stand the other one, I think the grate will open. Alright. I'll draw so... that. Is it like the floor sand or is it stone? It's stone. Oh okay. I was gonna draw it. The 
dirt. But who should be the one that goes by themselves in the grave? Is that because... out of character or in character? Oh, sorry, that was a little bit of both. <laughs> uh, so which one of us should be the lone person on grave? Pregnant? That's what I get, pregnant. <laughs> Al's going to look at uh, Levi as the bat and say, I guess let's try this. Juan, just if, if anything happens, we need to come up with a place to meet. Where should we meet? The, 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 Where the plants grow. Plant? No. Circle. Circle of faith. There's no fountain. Is that a fountain? Where the wisps were? But what if that magic comes back and like one of us is waiting for someone and then magic comes back and now they're attacked by a bunch of wisps? How about the stairs? The, 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 the lock, the, stairs. the ladder, the ladder. Seem the safest. Yeah, I don't want to go back to those wisps. If anything happens, meet us at the ladder. All right, and then I guess Bat Santa and I will start heading back to the other pressure plate. All right, go ahead and move your tokens. He's going to say in a like. Are we, should we move it slowly or are we able to get? Yeah, are we able to go uh, back the path? I'll took? say you'll be able to go back. I'll say you'll be able to go back. All right, All right so, so we once go... we get to the grate. Uh, now, this is where <laughs> me and Al have to decide who, which one of us. I feel as a bat, I am more capable. I'm like, oh, I forget you can't hear. I see, yeah, I see I'm... you floating around and I'm like, you have to change back. I can't read your lips. All right, so I will change back into rocks, and I'll attempt to speak real slowly with my lips and say, I think I should go by myself, because as a bat, I can see, hear, and talk, and fly. Al, Al smiles and he goes, who are you going to talk to if you're alone? But I think it's a good plan. <laughs> <laughs> I talk to myself all times. All right, so don't forget the plan. We meet at the steps if anything happens. Okay, try to be safe here. So I'll step onto the plate. And I'll attempt to turn you'll back step... into the bat before I reroll. Nah, you're fine. Okay. So you step onto the plate, uh, you hear another click. Please be ready. All right, and then I go back to this one and I will stand on it and hope something happens. You stand on the grate and nothing happens. No, guys, it's not right. Um, as a character, try to open it. I'll try you to. You try to open it. Oh, I think he's telling me to try to open it. Yeah, as a character, do you try to? Open Unfortunately, it? I didn't. I would have never thought of that. So. Oh, okay then. Sorry. Uh, right. you know what, rocks. Part of Rox's rebellious nature is sticking into Levi, and he will go down here by himself. I'm going to say that uh, 45 minutes have passed since the temple appeared. Oh, no. We don't have a lot of time, guys. We literally don't have a lot of time. Where okay. are you going, Levi? Where did you I was going to see what's over here. Oh, you can go over there. Sorry. Just to see if we That's missed fine. anything. Um... Once about five minutes pass from that 45, Hark, will you let me know? Otherwise, Al's going to stay there for at least five minutes. Yeah, okay. fine too. Uh, Levi will fly around here frantically, not knowing why his plan didn't work, even though I'm pretty sure now we just have to lift it up. <laughs> but uh, is there anything over here? Uh, I'm, I'm revealing. I'm revealing. Okay, sorry, sorry. My computer's just taking fly a like longer. Fly like crazy. Fly everywhere and try to see everything. Yeah, I just so, don't want to yeah, run I into. A, I don't want to run into a sword and get my head cut off. <laughs> see, is there another great here? No. At least as a bat, you're pretty nimble, probably. Yeah, you're pretty fast. Yeah, yeah, and I'm flying. I, that's how kind of the only. I, I kind of feel uh, semi safe. I don't feel safe around this wisp thing though. <laughs> All right, you can't go that far. Oops, sorry. Um, oh, there is a door. You run into a uh, metallic door, mm -hmm. and on the metallic door, there seems to be. I will shift the scene temporarily. Um, 
Why is there a metallic door inside a magical temple? This is this temple is wild. I like and, it. Yeah, and and all the metallic the on the door appears to be a bunch of different sized handles. Oh no. Metallic handles. Uh huh. Um, so that's what you see. Are these metallic sized handles? So that's the front of the door, and they're like. That's door handles. On, yeah, that, okay. That's on the front of the door. It looks like metallic door handles. Okay. Once, once uh, I see this, um, without, because uh, knowing that the it's the time is kind of running out, I will fly back to both my friends and let them know that there's something we completely missed and we gotta, I think, solve this. Because I won't be able to solve this on my own. Okay. So you're gonna fly back to everybody. Yeah. I'll grab uh, Juan and Levi's body first, and then. Uh, That's fine. I'll, uh, yeah, I'll run towards so, to follow him. Before, I'll back. If, okay. When you come to Al, he's going to be a little stubborn, and he's going to try to conjure like something heavy enough to sit on the pressure plate just in case. Mm -hmm. Like a, a stone of some sort. So I, you want to conjure. I, I don't know any conjuring spells. Oh, nothing like, oh you can't no, conjure a no, single thing. You can't anything. conjure anything. Can you, all right, then... Um, Maybe you can grab uh, polymorph object. <laughs> Is there anything else around us, Hark? No. Do I have anything on my body, Juan, that I could conjure? Or Leave polymorph. the dragon egg. Make the dragon egg something else. I don't have that. It's on. It's on his body. Ew, thank God. <laughs> um, what would you have? Do you have anything in your possession, Juan? I have a sink bomb. If, right. if you get a good enough roll, you can make it super big. All right, I pull out the stink bomb and I try to polymorph it into a larger boulder of sorts on top of the pressure plate. All right, roll a polymorph, please. Wait, and Wands. how big do you want to make it? Because that will change the TN. Um, I want to make it heavy enough to to be like the, the way make the it way weigh like at least as yeah. much as you. So at least like 120 pounds. So that's a tiny thing bump that will have to go very times larger. And it tells yeah. you that it's a plus two for every size category larger. Yeah. So Right, but your transfiguration sizes? is really good. So Yeah, yeah, no, I'm just asking how much do I need to get? It's gonna be five. So it's tiny and you want it to be medium. So how many levels from tiny to medium? I think that's at least two. At least. At least, yeah. Uh, let me see. Because at least you go from tiny to small to medium. I'm not sure if there's anything in between. It's actually smaller than tiny. I'm gonna say you're gonna have to add a plus six to the TN. Okay, that's gonna. I'm so, gonna need an eleven. Yeah, I'm gonna do it. Twenty. Yeah, you will easily be able to create a relatively larger uh, rock, I guess, or boulder. Yeah. When he does um, that, does it? Uh... Does the mechanism seem to be good? You, when you place it onto the mechanism, um, the pressure plate does not seem to react to it at all. It feel, it seems like it has the right weight. Okay. Uh, but it doesn't seem to. It react. doesn't have the right person. All right, it was worth a try. <laughs> After that, then I will follow Levi to the door. All right, yeah. and then we'll grab Juan and. Okay. I'll grab both of them, bring them to the door, so we can get this all right. puzzle solved. When we get to the door. Juan is going to look at it, then look at Levi and be like, "The short one." <laughs> He's gonna grab the short one. Yeah. The cool. Try to open the. There's so a Levi. There's a lot of Levi. short ones. Oh wait. Oh wait. I don't know if that's just a, a background, but like there's dots to the side to the side. So should we connect those some? Oh, or is that just a? Uh... Oh wait. Can we? Yeah. There's move dots the on the left and on the right. Well, are you grabbing the, sh yeah, the shortest grab the one? Short one. I'm like, you grab the shortest one, and then you believe you can pull if you want to pull. He's gonna, he's gonna pull. You pull, and the door very easily, are you very, very easily open. <laughs> and and he's, going, and he's gonna look at Levi and be like, <laughs> "I am very sorry. I, I thought it was a complicated. My, I get nervous when it comes to puzzles and solving things." And he's just gonna walk inside the the room. We walk inside the room, and I will I will have to describe uh, what's in it because it's not empty like it's on the map. But I will okay. describe what's inside. So inside of this room, um, uh, 
Everybody, does everybody go inside? Yes. Yeah. yeah. I would follow. All right. Yeah. Sorry. When you go inside, the metal door slams shut uh -oh. behind you. It slams shut behind you, and um, there is again a smaller statue of the Saucy Perere, and he has one palm held upward, and on his palm there is an hourglass a sand timer or hourglass with a button on top of the hourglass. And as soon as you, um, as soon as the door slams in, um, the timer of the hourglass starts. Oh no! Oh. How God. much time? I can't see that. What is 30, it? 30 minutes? Basically. Oh, it's supposed to be, sorry, sorry, that's supposed to be, not minutes, that's supposed to be seconds. seconds. Oh seconds. God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, guys. All guys. right, what else do what we, we see? What else do we see? You guys. Uh, you don't see anything else That's of interest it? in this room. The only I thing of the interest is the statue. I push the button. You push the button, you push the button, and it resets. Okay. Um, 30 seconds. Um, it resets. Juan is going to turn back down and start to see if there's anything on the door that he can open. Uh, no. It doesn't seem like you can open anything. You guys, when it gets to 10, I'm pushing button again. And uh, I'm going to dock down and try to see if I see anything on the statue. I push the button. A little bit of moss. You push the button, it resets. I'm going to try to touch the butt of the statue. <laughs> uh, you try to touch the butt of the statue. Uh, the You can hear, <laughs> but nothing else happens other than a laugh in the in the distance, it's not like somewhere outside of this room. You can... uh, I'm gonna look at the, at the roof and first. You guys look around. Seconds. I'll take care. I push the button. I'll push take the care button. of the okay. button. I look at the other side of the door. Is there anything on the back of the door that should close behind us? Uh, roll this observe spot. Uh, can you roll that for me, Clef, twice? Yep. I'll do that. <laughs> ah, Levi, advantage, right? Levi, don't fall asleep. <laughs> 11. Uh, I don't. Nothing out of the ordinary. Okay. I push the button. Okay, resets. <laughs> I'm gonna look at the roof. Like, no. Uh, the room, I mean, the ceiling is a little mossy too. The floor is a little mossy. I can, like, fly over the wall, right? You can fly if you like. Okay, I'm gonna fly and try to see if there's anything on the wall. Push the button. Okay. Could you roll me uh, for the set for the Sagittarius, please? Yeah. While he's rolling, is what is the other hand doing in the statue? Uh, the other Levi. the other hand is just on his hip. Is on his hip. Roll me your magical item, please. Guys, I, I gotta pay attention to this boy. <laughs> I'll tell you. I tell you. I tell you. Now. Push the button. Okay. Reset. Magic item, you said? Yeah, please. Eleven. All right, you'll be able to fly. Okay, I'm gonna fly and try to see if there's anything on the wall. And all right. And I'm while I'm doing that, I'm gonna try to gather the attention of Albion. Like the button, the button. I push the button. I push the button. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try a. Should I try disruption on? I'm gonna try disruption on the door. Okay. Okay. Roll a disruption. I don't think it's magical, I think it's mechanical. Yeah, I'm 21. 21. Alright. Uh, I push the button. You, Alright. Uh, you sense that something electrical on the door just deactivated. I try pushing the door open. You can't, it's really heavy. It's super heavy. I'm gonna go and try you guys, to I'm freaking out. <laughs> I'll help him push it. I push the button. All right, roll. Both of you roll a strength. Hey, roll a strength for me, and I roll a strength for you. Is it athletics for? Yeah, athletics. Oh, perfect. I hope it was one athletics, not the hidden part. I just increased my athletics. Um, Albion, roll out an eight. The button. Who's pushing the button? I push the button. I push the button. I push the button. Okay. <laughs> All right. Yeah, you try with all your might to push this door. It's really heavy. Oh. 
and uh, Juan is going to go over to the statue and try to see if it can move it. Like, if it turns or if the hands, the I push arms. The button. Guys. Guys, what if this room's just designed to make us waste time? What if we're supposed to just let the time run out? Look, I've seen a lot of movies and you should not let time run out ever. Bad things happen. What if it's a mind game? What if I mean, we found nothing in this room? I push the button. <laughs> <laughs> I, I want to say, I want to see if the statue moves or anything like that. Uh, no, the statue doesn't seem to be movable. Okay, look, I understand that this button and this is all that's here. <laughs> But I, my anxiety is going through the roof. I cannot. Juan is gonna. <laughs> I push the button. I grab. Juan is gonna grab me by because you can do that and grab me by the arms and be like. Al is going to attempt to use his astral projection to go back out to the front of the door. Okay, roll the astral projection. You're trying Al. to hold me, Juan. Yeah. You is can't. it? You're holding your head. Ah, get push. off me. You're gonna push it. Push it. <laughs> Button. I push the button. I push the button. I push the button. Look. Okay. Um, roll. Uh, who's, roll for the astral is it, projection. Use item on Juan. Juan, use item magic. Use magic item. Oh, that's right. It's seven. All right. Yeah. I'm gonna say you'll be able to astral project just outside the door. Do I still see the handles? Yeah, they're there. They're still there. So I try the, push the button. I try the small handle. Um, you'll try the small handle, but with the seven, you're not going to be able to manipulate the handle. Oh, great. It just goes, you goes right through it. You go right through it. And, you guys... and I'm not going to let you re-roll again for a while. Yeah, so. you disrupted the magic anyways. I don't even... You also disrupted the I'm magic. Gonna... Well, if it was magic, yeah. I'm going to yeah. try and grab Levi so that he can no longer... I'm going to push the button but... while he does that. I'm going to kick it with my foot. <laughs> All right. Well, pause. Well, pause and roll, um... Um, oppose strength. Okay. So Do I have any so sort of advantage. Levi's... Since he's holding his head with his hand, other hand. Uh, are, are you still trying to? You're, you're, are you doing this one-handed then? Um, no, Levi, I'm, I'm gonna Levi's put body. My... All right, you're gonna put the head down. <laughs> All right, if you're if you're gonna put your head down, so then like, you can I'm do this. I'm gonna put the head, so like I can see what's happening. I'm and try to be like. Okay. So oppose strength. For both of you, like I have it paused, oh, so opposed straight. You have to roll bad when I'm trying to stop you. Oh, that's actually for Ross. Oh, oh so really that's fun. ten. So uh, roll I, opposed straight. I can use her nimbleness as well, right? Because if she's trying to get yeah, away, she yeah. can use her nimbleness. That's true. You can use your nimbleness yeah, as well. But I think you're gonna, you're gonna. Snip All right. So roll for oh, Levi, so. please. Yeah, and get her. All right. So that is enough for you to. Hold Levi. Uh, Let enough. me go. Up. We we're gonna blow up one. We are going to blow up. All right, I project one. back to my body and I see please them. Please God, fighting. I'll push the button. I'll push the button, please. Al's just gonna watch. He's gonna, Al, push we're the gonna die. You guys, if we die right now, don't kill me. Oh, please. The timer goes off. You hear a laugh, <laughs> <laughs> and then. The door swings open, the statue slides over, and inside is a key. <laughs> I don't like you, Mark. <laughs> it I was the last timer. It I was the last timer. <laughs> you hear more laughing. I'm hysterical. feeling real sweaty. I was so nervous. <laughs> Al grabs the key. Is it bronze? It is bronze. All right. It's a bronze key. All right, guys, we need to find this other key. I told you, Levi, he was just trying to waste our time. Well, you guys, look. Things usually explode at the end of timers. You cannot right. be mad at me. I know to them, too, and be like... So maybe there's another oh. plate. Maybe there's another pressure plate. Also, guys, when you guys stood on that, great did nothing. I tried standing on it, nothing happened. I assume and that's why you got us to come with you. And he's going to try to sign the like, but... But? Another butt? Where's the butt? Touch the butt? The box. Big round butt. The other box didn't open. Did you uh -huh. try to open it, Levi? Open? Open the butt? The other grate. Did you open it? I stood on it. 
<laughs> but I can lift it. Of course. Let's try this again, guys. <laughs> All right. So we make our way back to we the. Go back. Are you guys going back, back to the plates? He grabbed his head and he's like. Um, on the I way back, say... on the way back, uh, Al's gonna explore this other area that they didn't go. He's gonna just double check that area down there. All right, and then he sees a dead end, so he continues back to the pressure plate. I will yeah. tell uh one that a one maybe we should switch places because uh this grate seems very heavy and as quick as Rox is, she's not very strong. All right, so Bat Santa's down at the other one, and mm -hmm. I will shift out of Bat form to stand on the, the plate. All right, we'll move where you're going. Oops, sorry. I'm just going to assume that you're in Roxana's body again. Like, so we can keep the bat for now. Okay. Yeah. So you're, as Roxana's body, you're going to stand on the plate. Yes, sir. You hear a click, you hear a click. I'm gonna... And what are you going to do? I'm going to try to see if I can open it. You try to open the grate, it doesn't budge. Oh, we're missing something, guys. Okay. Um, I'm going to go and explore myself. Go ahead and explore. Don't kill my go body. Ahead. And there's a werewolf. No, not yet. Hark wouldn't throw us a werewolf now, would he? No, Hark never. How much never. time do you think we have? That's the thing that's making. I'm gonna. Nervous. I'm gonna say it's an hour now. Oh. It's been an oh, hour. Oh God, no! Getting nervous, guys. Come on. Right, there's oh. nothing there. And. I'm guessing a lot of time has passed, but he isn't going back to them. He's really trying yeah. to find it, something else. Don't let there just be an exit there. It's going <laughs> to be that one black area we haven't explored yet. Is it literally just an so exit? If you move, if you move there, uh, Juan, you end up back here. Oh. If you move, you end up back oh, there, if you move to that hall. And like... And he's gonna try to remember. Yeah, he's gonna go back here. Okay. You're there in that room. You're going here. Don't let there be like some. Oh, oh my god. god. <laughs> Are you kidding? And he's gonna step on it. You, you step on it and you hear in the distance something sliding really close by something just slid open and um, Juan is going to run down to see if it's open like as fast you, as you, to see if you run down and as you're running shh, it's sliding back oh. I, I, did I medic it in time? can I try and grab something out of it? I'm sorry? Um, when I get no, there no he just said you heard it by the time no, you get back you there, heard it by the time yeah. you got there long really before you get there it stopped sliding oh no I'm gonna go for the others and gather them in the third pressure plate. I will, okay. Can I look at this area just real fast, just in case? Because yeah. I just don't. We missed that little square of black. It was. <laughs> yes, I think you've revealed the entire. There's just a little maze. spot right here. I, I'm just going to clear everything. Cool, cool. I'm just going to assume. All right. At this point, I'm going to say an hour and uh, 15 minutes have passed. Oh. Oh, All right, so wait, oh. you came, you gathered us, and where did you bring us? Uh, to the With third pressure plate. To the third right. pressure plate. So, that so, you what can see. so I would ask, what happened? You heard something sliding. So did that other grate open? You ran to it, and it wasn't open. Then we need to use my astral projection. So our body can stay here, but we can grab the key. Oh, wait. How? Oh, oh sorry. I'm back in Levi. <laughs> uh, okay. We could, yes, we could do the astral projection. And if that don't work, we could put like big rock on the grate. And so when it opens, when it goes to close again, it closes on big rock. Let's try both. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Anything so at this point. 
So at this point, um, so if, are we going to get another? Do we have something else to polymorph into a rock out of character? I'm, I'm guessing you, the polymorph. Oh, don't you still have rock. that big? Uh, well, I would have had to un, I would have had to un polymorph it so we could carry it. Oh. What, we, I also, we also all have stink bombs, don't we? Yeah, we all have stink bombs. So I'll give you mine if you like. All right, so I will, we'll go back over to the grate and polymorph um, okay. another of the rocks on it so that when it opens, it could possibly jam it. Roll. Uh, you need an mm -hmm. 11 at least, I think, is I what we said. At least. All right. So we do that, you, then you're, and yeah, then yeah, I'm going to suggest, guys, that I should be on the closest one so I can use my astral projection to come get the key. Sounds like a good plan. I'll be on further since I'm bet. All right. So, Levi's butt. All right. So, Clef, you're going to have to roll me another use item and don't do so poorly this time. <laughs> oh, please. <I'm> <laughs> come on, Clef. Yeah, it's We're counting on you. Oh, it's a little better. It's a little better. A little better. Yeah. So I astrally project over to the grate. You will be able to do that. Astrally project over to the grate. Is it still open? The grate, so it had slid open, and when it slid open, the rock actually fell mm -hmm. into the grate. And you do see inside a bronze key. You do see a bronze key. Am I able to get it? Um, you try to get it, but you're, with a nine, your hand passes right through it. But I think right. the rock might have jammed is, enough. I was going to say, is the rock sticking up enough that when the grate slides, will, will I notice it? It looks stop like, it? it looks like it'll stop it. It looks like, yeah. And am I able to use other, do I have my wand with me in my astral projection form? Um, I'm going to say you do. Okay. Well, no, in your astral projection form, it's. Uh, it's, I, I would say it's just your body, okay. honestly. But, I think it's just your body. But, 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 but Juan can cast magic without any wands. But what, Juan can cast magic without wands. But you don't have, yes. like, a levitate, do you, Juan? Um, I don't think so, no. Let me see. You can cast level 2 spells without any wands. You can polymorph it back in, I don't know. I think the rock jammed it. We should try it. stepping off the plates. Well, you can't talk. You can't oh, yeah, sorry, we're sorry, not sorry. together. You're not together, so... Alright, if I don't know of any spells that's gonna be able to pull it back up, I'm just gonna astrally project back to my body and hope the rock jams it. And All right. walk back to it. You'll walk back to it, you hear it start to slide, and then you hear a... Yes! Click. Yes! Click. We did it, guys! <laughs> we did it! So I... I scream out if I can. Guys, I got the key! I don't know if they hear me, but... Yeah, you got the key. So okay, I'm gonna run back there. As a uh, as a uh, bat, can I hear that from this distance? I'll say yeah. All right. I'll say yeah. So I got the other key, and I say, let's go to the steps. Okay. We did it. You'll go to the steps. An hour and thirty minutes since the oh, temple no. appeared. Hour and thirty minutes. Let's go. We're not. You go up to the steps. Do we have any indication which key goes in which hole? Or do they just look uh, similar? They look exactly the same. All right. Well, we try. We try one combination, and twist them. You twist them, uh, and then when you twist them, uh, the room shakes a little bit, and then the the wall slides over, and there is a staircase leading upstairs. <sighs> Looks at the other. You guys, two. we should have just hunted pig. We should have just hunted the pig. Um, Levi is going, Juan is going to look at Levi and be like, like, give him a hug, like, ah, and he's going to turn his face into fire again and starts walking to, in the, going up the stairs. I follow. All right. I'll also follow. The two of you will start walking together and there's going to be some awkward silence. He's yeah. not going to start a conversation unless you do. Yeah. So... I'm going to say for the first five minutes, none, neither of you say something unless you initiate something. Um, I would say probably after the five minutes, unless he talks, Roxana will say something. Mm -hmm. And she's going to go, so 
how you been? <laughs> just like stuffs her hands in a pocket if um if Albion has any pockets. If you want the honest answer, I've been a little sad. Yeah, I can only imagine. Oh, why do you say that? Just because of everything that's happened lately probably brings back a lot of horrible memories. Yeah, but the competition was a great distraction. It'll be sad for it to be over. Yeah, no, it will be very sad when everyone leaves. You know, they're all good people, so... I'm gonna miss all of them. Me too. How are you doing? He says very often. <laughs> How are you doing? Oh, I'm... I'm okay. You don't have to ask... You don't have to ask me that thing. I'm not angry at you anymore. Just so you know. I don't think I've been angry at you for a while, actually. It's okay if you are. No. It's okay if I was for a few weeks, maybe a few months. But now, me being angry now, that's not okay. Yeah. Well, thank you. It... It means a lot, but um, I think we can all get some closure now. We don't have to think about where he is, and maybe I might get to see him soon. Actually, really? Yeah. Not, not really a social call. It's to get some answers. That's probably going to be hard seeing him I guess oh yeah but um you know there's things he might not tell people that he might tell me because say what you will like what? well uh, <laughs> I don't know what he's been up to why he killed Albion's mom why he killed your dad Answers like that. I would like to know that. At least, not that it would bring him back, but it'd be nice to know mm. why he had to die for whatever stupid reason it is. And that above all, I want to know, why do all this, you know? What was the point of it? I don't know. No, I was told he was a right shit in high school, so maybe it came from that. Well, hopefully he'll have all the answers for you, even if they're not satisfying answers. Hmm. Well, it's it's about time, you know, because just say what you will about. Bar follow me, Shavettes, but he did love his kids. And I don't think he ever meant for this to impact us, but it has. Like, Natasha is a complete wreck. And Alec, well, I won't even get into that. Yeah, I, Alec is not a very happy topic for me. I can understand. Natasha's actually... She's actually been okay. The last several weeks. Yeah. She, um... I think it's just a... A point now that she realizes that... Everything she worked for, it's... It was all fake. And now it's time to move on with life and... You know, to her credit, she is really smart. Out of all the kids, she was the smartest. 
I think that everyone acting the way they are at Koldov Tsaretz about you guys is... I've been there myself, and I hope it doesn't last as long as it did with me. I'm sorry to hear that. But, um, you know, it's my senior year next year. Who knows, I might even... I don't even think I'm going to stay in school, Finn. Really? No. You're so close to graduating. I just... Why I... I just don't really see a big ministry job for me. I'm not particularly smart. I'm not really that good at anything. <laughs> so I... Well, you're good enough to get orange robes. Yeah, the thing about these robes, though, is it's not all dependent on how s smart you are. Not all the time, anyway. It's all to do with personality and souls and all that bullshit. But yeah. The only reason it changed to orange was because I helped people. But anyone would do the same. You know. Yeah. Albion would do the same. He would. Speaking of which... <laughs> Uh-oh. He sort of... He gives you a look. He didn't actually verbally say uh-oh, but he gave you a look <laughs> as to say uh-oh. And for the first time since you guys started talking, Finn looks legitimately scared. <laughs> like, legitimately frightened. You like him. And she perks him in the shoulder. He's okay. <laughs> and she like does mm. this. You like Aika. No. <laughs> really? You don't think he's at least okay? I think he's pretty great actually. <laughs> okay. I like Aika. Me and Aika are going out. And after all this, we'll probably go our separate ways. Yeah. When you say that, uh, the sadness comes over Finn's eyes again when you say that. Well, I mean, you can always write Albion. You're both in senior year. Who knows? Being who is... Being the son of a politician, he probably travels the world all the time. He's rich enough that he can afford it. That's true. Well, how about you and Naika then? You guys can do the same thing, right at least. Yeah, I'll just, I'll see what he wants, you know. It'll probably get to the end, maybe he'll, maybe he'll think better of it. Who knows? I heard, I heard that Aika has a very special alchemy trick that can essentially hijack the flu network. Yeah, <laughs> he does, actually. We have a flu fireplace in my house, but I, I mean, I've met his mother. She's great. A bit apprehensive. You met his mother? I did meet his mother. <laughs> wow. Yeah. That was actually on the ball night. Literally the first night we went out. <laughs> Roxana Schvetz, I had no idea you moved so fast, he says with a grin. It was a nice gesture. <laughs> And we had chicken All right. pie. Whatever you say, Schwetz, whatever you say. He says, and he like, looks ahead smiling. You think I'm being stupid. <laughs> and she perks him in the shoulder again. But I'm... No, no. I think I'm being stupid. Why do you think you're being stupid? Because moving, we're moving really fast. And like... Sorry, I'm talking your ear off. You probably don't want to hear any of this. No, actually, a lot of what you're saying makes a lot of sense. I wanted to move slower with Albion. I wanted to take it. He's openly... He only just recently came out. And I, I just didn't want this opportunity to pass, you know, before that games ended. So... I probably moved a lot faster than I normally would with him. 
well, just as long as you're patient with him, he's coming to terms with it. And, like, I don't understand the particular situation he's in. Because when it came to me and my family, it just got to a point where they didn't care what I did. So no matter how I turned out, they didn't care. Because I honestly think my mother thought I was never going to get married. Natasha and Alec were going to get married. And then Alec fucked up. So now they don't care what Alec does anymore. Well... Roxana, you're a lot of things, but you're not stupid. Aww, thanks, Finn. And about the other day... Yeah? You know, with Levi, you probably panicked and did something stupid. A little bit silly, but you're not a monster for it. It's definitely stupid when people get hurt like that and don't deserve it. It's very stupid. I did the same to Toby. I hurt him pretty bad. And for a moment... How did you... On the chessboard, I scratched him on the arm. Oh. He didn't think much of it. He actually was really proud of it. His battle scars, I think. He called them. Hmm. I was angry at him. <laughs> Just so stupid, but I was angry. That's what I did. And what you did, I think you I think you panicked. And I don't think you're a bad person for it. So Levi's fine. Like He doesn't hold it against you. So don't go beating yourself up over it. I appreciate that. Are we cool, Schwetz? Well, I mean, I was always cool. I, I never said anything against you. <laughs> she says that jerkingly. I, I don't know what you're talking about. No, I kid. We're cool. Awesome, he says. And he'll give you a friendly pat on the back. Ah, uh, she'll do it to me. <laughs> Don't expect this to be a habit, he says. That's okay. That's okay, Djokovic. We can be friends in secret. I won't tell anyone you're a big softy. <laughs> um, he'll grin a little bit and not respond <laughs> as you guys continue to walk. And we'll end the scene there. Aww. Cute. Very cute. So nice. <laughs> when you step on the first step... Oh, no. <laughs> it's the, the back of the beginning of the temple. When you step on the first step, you hear a <laughs> as if as if you were stepping on a whoopee cushion. Sorry, guys. Um, and each step that you take up the steps, like does the same thing, like the whoopee cushion sound. We still can't talk, hear, or see, right? Yeah, you still can't talk, hear, or see as you go up the steps. So I don't hear the sounds. Do I smell anything? <laughs> No, right. no, it's just whoopee cushion sounds. So I'm just walking as if nothing's out of the ordinary then. This is very weird. Well, you finally reach the top of the stairs and you enter into the largest chamber that you have come upon. A very wide open space. And in this wide open space, uh, there appears to be um, a running... It's like a indoor man-made like river kind of man-made river thing surrounding this pedestal and on the pedestal appears to be this large we're talking like zelda link treasure chest <laughs> a large treasure chest um and you can uh hear uh, uh giggling coming from echoing through the halls <laughs> and you see this big dirt devil with a with a red cap on the dirt, dirt devil spinning around and it's just running around this room really fast just uh, running around this room stop should we try to capture in bottle or should we check chess or should we just go back and look for pig 
Um, out of character, did... I, I know that the letter mentioned the temple, correct? Did it mm -hmm. say, like, what we're supposed to do in the temple, or just come to the no, temple? No, just... He doesn't know why we need the temple. All right. He just said it was important. And yeah. we don't know if we need to catch the dust devil. Right. Guys, I mean, we don't even... We don't know why we're supposed to be here. I, I don't think we need the treasure. Uh, maybe and you didn't hear that. Oh, true. Sorry. Well, was I looking at him? Yeah, I guess so. Sure. Oh, okay, perfect. Go on. Maybe we should try talking to this guy. I mean, maybe he can help. Hey, hey, dust creature. <laughs> <laughs> The uh, the dust uh, devil thing stops and transforms back into the the man, and he looks at you grinning. <laughs> you guys, you guys, one second. I have a perfect idea. And then Roxanne is gonna like, or Levi and Roxanne's body is gonna like straighten up. She's gonna start playing with her hair like, "Hey, stud, how are you?" <laughs> huh? Roll, uh, I guess, uh, perform flirt? Perform go. flirt? Hey, I don't have disadvantages, I'm, I'm not so Levi. Mad. Yeah, you're not Levi. Wait, what are the odds her flirt's high? It, it can't be, right? Come on. It can't be. It oh, be she done. has a plus in menacing. <laughs> yeah, I mean, oh, she wanted to menacing. Oh, uh, Alright, so what do you roll? Alright, so it's a plus two. Critical success. No. Eight. Right? Mm -hmm. Alright. He seems... He, he, he looks at you. He looks mildly intrigued, but he doesn't approach you. Well, what's a big, handsome man like you doing in a place like this? <laughs> <laughs> he starts, like, making running mo motions, even with his, with his, with his uh, one leg. And then he starts spinning around again, and starts running around the room. Um, roll a linguistics. Anyone who has linguistics can go ahead and roll and tell me what your values are. Oh, okay. Uh, Rox got 16. Rox, you got a feeling that uh, this guy is challenging you to catch it. Uh, okay. So, Rox will definitely, um, well, Levi and Rox will be like... Don't you know how to show a girl a good time? And I'll start slowly walking towards him. Uh, when you start slowly walking towards him, the dust devil just gonna zip out of the way. Okay, enough games. I'm gonna just chase him. <laughs> All right, <laughs> you're gonna come. So Roxana herself to start chasing. Roll me a swiftness with Roxana, please. Yeah, and I have. I'm gonna grab my bottle, just chase him down. All right, so you have your bottle. Go ahead. He gets an advantage, so 13. So for the next, um, you chase him around for a minute, and he's too fast for you for this minute. Well, that's happening. Uh, Juan is going to try to approach the chat. Sure. I think that that's a distract. Uh, you're going to go to the chest, and uh, I mean, it looks like a normal-looking treasure chest. What do you do? I'm going to try to open it. Uh, you'll try to open it, but it seems to be locked. And it seems to have a golden uh, keyhole in it. I'm gonna start to oh. look around to see if I see any kind of key or what yeah. it could be. Observe spot. Levi, please. Leo Brandon, please. Uh. Hark, I have a question. Would it be feasible if we can polymorph the floor into ice? Uh, you can if you'd like. I think you can. That's more of conjuration, though. Also, how is Roxana chasing after this guy if, if she's blind? Oh, in bat form. Him. Oh, so I guess I wouldn't have my bottle. Form. I'm just... I guess you're no, just chasing no, it around in bat form. She can hear him. I she can, can hear him. him. Yeah, and can yeah she can hear him. Yeah, okay. So I'm actually in Roxana form because I was flirting with him. So I got the I'm actually not bat right now. So that means you can't see him. Yeah. But you can yeah. still hear him. Now I'm trying to chase so, my ears. It'll be really hard for you. Even with the advantage, it'll be really hard for you to catch him in, yeah. in Roxy's yeah. Rox form. I'm going to attempt so, a tickling jinx on him. Okay. Um, meanwhile, was was Juan was trying to do something with the chest. What was he trying to do with the chest? He was trying to find the golden key where it could be. Okay. 
Um, you don't see a golden key currently. Oh, wow. Uh -huh. That's what a tickling jinx. So you cast a tickling jinx on, um, the, um, on the dust devil. The dust devil immediately transforms back into the saucy perere, and he starts, uh, laughing hysterically. <laughs> <laughs> and he's, he's on the ground, and he's just laughing hysterically. I'm gonna hysterically chase the laughter. Tickle. You can easily chase the laughter. <laughs> Yes, yes, I'm gonna go there and I'm gonna try to bottle him if I can see him anywhere. Or just reach anywhere. Go ahead and roll a hearing, but you can have your advantage. Roll a hearing. Eight? Alright. You will try to throw down the bottle, um, but you're gonna miss. Um, and when you slam down the bottle onto the ground, it actually like uh, smashes into a few pieces. Levi, can I get some help over here? Please, Levi! The tickling jinx will eventually wear off, and he will start spinning around the room again. I'm going to look at, at Alvia and be like... Yeah, don't worry about that chest. I'm gonna do it again, but we gotta be ready with the bottle. And he's gonna take out his bottle and run towards there. Okay. And I'll try the tickling jinx again. Go ahead. 26. Nice. Again, the dust devil stops. He, he falls over laughing using the tickling jinx. And then and Juan Levi. Is, Juan is going to grab his bottle and try to cap it. You will take the bottle and he mad he will even though he's relatively larger than the bo the bottle, as soon as the bottle like makes contact with his head, it like scoops him inside. And he shrinks down. He shrinks down, so he's now uh, trapped inside of the bottle. Um, I'm gonna... And as soon as the uh, tickling jinx wears off, he looks around. And I'm gonna grab the bottle and be like... I'm gonna jump <laughs> on da, da, Levi da, da, da. thinking it's him. You corked it, right? You put a cork on yeah, that I one. <laughs> I did say. I corked Roxana it. will jump on Levi's body thinking it's the, uh, the leprechaun guy. <laughs> the um, saucy perere. Collapse. And um, what do you do with him? Can he hear us? Hey, you, and I'll, I'll poke on the bottle. Hmm? Is this what's what's in the treasure chest? We're not sure why we're here, but we, we don't really need your treasure unless there's something in here we're supposed to 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 take with us. We're not sure. Hmm. So while 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 this is happening, so the legend, uh, Levi, is that if you manage to capture uh, Sase Perere, actually, I think the legend is if you manage to take a hold of his hat. Mm -hmm, it's his hat that. If you manage to take a hold of the hat, he's obligated to grant you a wish. Now, the wish, just to preface this, is within his power. He's not a genie. So I don't think you can ask for world peace and he'll be able to give you world peace. Mm. But he can grant you a wish within, within reason of his power, but he is very powerful. However, legends say that if you do decide to take a hold of his hat, his hat is ridiculously smelly. And the smell is probably going to stay with you for like indefinitely if you decide to do that. If you think it's worth um, asking for a wish from the Sauce Perere. But anyway... While this, while you might be thinking about that, the Sase Perere um, uh, takes out from his pocket a hoop. Oh, you have a hoop. Mm -hmm. You know, I wasn't kidding when I said you're actually pretty cute. Can I have that? He uh, points uh, to the opening of the bottle. Can uh, I have that? Look, we don't mean any harm to you. We, we just, we're here for a reason, and it might be that hoop. If we let you out, will you give us the hoop? Mm. He'll, he'll nod. You gather that you probably have proven that you've earned whatever, whatever okay. treasure you're looking for in this, in this temple. One is going to go cat a Levi, then an owl, and be like, and take the cork off. You'll take the cork off, and then uh, the dust mite emerges from the um, from the uh, bottle, 
and he appears again in front of you, back with his normal size, He's still with the hoop in his hand, and then he'll toss you the hoop. <laughs> so now how do we get out of here? He's going to look at him and you know. He'll snap his fingers, um, and uh, the pipe in his uh, mouth will start to bubble. And all these bubbles start coming out from his pipe and starts to encircle all of you. And then in a flash, the room starts to spin around and around and around and around, around. And then in a split second, you find yourself back outside of the temple. Can, we, can he talk? He blows some more bubbles. It it's sort of circles around all of you. And then suddenly, all of you are, are able to see, hear, and speak again. Oh, thank God. Can oh, you wait! Please... Before he goes! Can you head. put his head back on his body, please? Mm. Please, I think... Lo- <laughs> what do you want? He goes like this. <laughs> How much do you want? Uh, gonna, gotta, I'm gonna you, take all my. You're thoughts. wondering what what would you what do you have to offer him? Do you want stink bombs? Very good use in your tricky stinky. Yes, plenty of sneak bombs. Yes, I'll give Rox or Jordan's gonna kill me when she gets back on. But I'm gonna give him all the stink bombs she has. So, <laughs> <laughs> so any amount of stink bombs she has is now his. <laughs> you give him the stink bombs, and then. Um, where is the dragon egg? Just and in my in uh, Levi, Levi's body's pocket. Okay, you'll drag, you carry the stink bombs, and he looks very look at very happy at the stink bombs. But then he rubs his chin, and then he like points at Levi's pocket. He's Give it to think. him. But... Well, look, that's a very very rare thing. So I think we deserve a little bit more in return for the egg. Like yeah, maybe. Yeah. Like a half wish, like a wish that's not yeah, super super big, but kind of big. I want treasure chest. I couldn't open that damn thing. He'll he'll blow onto his um, pipe, and then the bubbles will emerge, and it'll show the treasure chest next to you. And um, Juan is going to this. Well, and he's gonna ask Al, can you just transform this, the the chest, and All my right. head? <laughs> he's like this. And stone in one hand, grabbing his head in the other, that chest, and whatever is inside, and you put this back here, and you get all of the stink bombs and the genuine dragon egg. And I rolled an untransfigure it in, back into an egg. It's a 24, so. Okay. So you're offering him the egg and the stink bombs, and in, in return, you want. To have your head back back where it was and a half a wish. No, I don't want the treasure chest. He wants the treasure chest. I wanted half a wish. No, I don't want any. I don't want half that smell forever with me. Oh, well, I was going to say without the smell. What if you let us each pick one thing from your chest? We don't need to take his whole treasure. We We don't need the whole thing. Just one thing. Yeah. What do you think? We're going to open it up. Oh, sorry. We're gonna like open it up and it's gonna be like a boot or something. It's I don't, a I don't chest. care. I get my head back in <laughs> and something extra. So, do you have a deal? Hmm. He'll hold out his hand. So he will scoop up the um. He will scoop up the um. The stink bombs and he'll take the egg. And then, again, he'll blow uh, bubbles out of his pipe. It'll encircle around Levi's body. And then the head oh, fuses back thank onto God. his neck. Thank God. That beautiful head is back on that body. And, the- and then, and then um, on Levi's hands is a golden key. Thank you very much. I'm going to go to the treasure chest and open it. You will open it up, you will unlock it, open it up, and then all of these spring snakes, I knew the spring it. snakes I... jump out of the Why didn't jump we... out of the chest. I told you we should have done half a wish, guys. How I don't do know make... why how nobody do you make ever listens wish? to me. No one ever listens to me. Explain to me how you make a half a wish, Levi. Like a wish that isn't like too big, like, oh, I wish that, I don't know, well, the world explodes. Well, we are, 
Well, I was just going to wish for the pig. That's all I was going to wish for. And then there. we could have returned with the oh, pig and won. I didn't thought of that. Yes, because nobody listens to Levi ever. Okay, but while they are discussing that, I'm going to put the hoop into my wand so that no one can see it. Like Because remember, we have a new hoop. <laughs> That's true. All right, you put it on your wand, uh, and you can attach it. How many hoops are on your two. wand now? All right, so you get plus two bonus um, on your spells, and uh, I don't know if you're gonna try to activate it now or later, but I'm gonna say, guys. It's... Wait, why? Wait. Let me let me see the let me see the symbol, and I'll look and oh, see if I see if I recognize the symbol because we had Naila's notes. Yeah, I'm gonna take it out and show it. Can you roll me a knowledge one? Of course. And if you have, did you learn more? Yeah, I think you learned some more about it because you were studying with Naila, right? Yeah. About astronomy or whatever. It's a 12. Okay. So, um, I mean, Naila doesn't know runes. So you're not going to be able to identify what this is just based on no her notes, oh. unfortunately, because well, but... she doesn't know runes. So do, does... Do we know what rune, what that represents, though, like, through the knowledge check? Because she had written down the zodiac sign, so I'm trying to match the rune with the zodiac. Right, but all you can see is the mark, the yeah, rune itself, rune so is. how are you going to cross? Because, I mean, she, you know what each, what you know what the ability of each zodiac is, right. you know, but you don't know how... Yeah. You don't know the runes that represent the zodiac, you don't ro- so. Right. You don't know the runes that represent them. That's can, the uh, can, yeah, can Roxana take a check at it? Can, her runes yeah, roll kind of, the runes. Her, her roll runes, the runes. a little bit high. Yeah, she took it because of the competition. Because she is friends of Toby. 17? Ooh, yes! Uh, Roxana's body recognizes that rune to be Libra. And, and Libra is? Guys, who remember? I, I don't know how I know this, guys, but Libra is definitely this symbol. Um, I'm going to take it and put it back. I have it somewhere here. While this is happening, um, overhead, you see a large winged serpent in the distance. A large flying winged serpent. In the distance, and it seems to be flying back towards uh, where the starting position was. They caught it. Libra lets you tell up its telepath. Ooh, I'm gonna. I already put it back together, and I'll try it later. But right now, I'm like, they caught it. Who? Wait, which team had the that flying snake? I forget. The horned serpent. Well, I guess at least one team found what they were looking for, but... Wait, and Roxana? We still don't know where she is. Hopefully she's with Finn. Should we... Should we set off after the Tebow? Mm. Out of character, did they have a time limit, or it was just a race? They were going to say that if both teams manage to get back... If, if two teams manage to get back, they'll throw up um, some flares... At the top, telling the third team to come because they're already okay. last place. And they ha- there are no flames there yet, right? Currently, there's no flares yet. There's still time, guys. Maybe we can... We can make a run for it. Before we do, I would look back at the Sase Pereri and just kind of give him a, a bow. Thank you. And uh, he, will, he'll, he will also bow at you as well. And with the big, large egg... Um, which he's shrunk down so that it's big enough for him to carry. He will give you guys a farewell, and the entire temple will begin to be shrouded by this uh, winds and dust. You guys are out of the way. Winds and dust, and then it turns into a small dust tornado again and starts to zip away. It might be weird, but I kind of like that guy. He yeah, I, mean, I was definitely expecting something much more malicious. Yeah. Maybe it's kind of like Roxy in another life. <laughs> <laughs> Let's run. Maybe we can, we can find the, the, the pig. 
Yeah. Also, also, you will find that um, the silver items that were in inventory are no longer there. Oh man! They disappeared. Mm -hmm. They were only there for for the temple itself. All right. So you guys are gonna leave. Yeah. So you guys are going to head off and leave, and within a few moments, you actually will see two figures approaching you. You will see one figure with a trident, Finn as well as an Asian man oh, next man. to Finn. But there's something different about this Asian man since the last you saw him. He's glowing. And you couldn't quite... Mm, kind of. Because his robes are different. This man's robes are orange. Ooh. <laughs> Congratulations. Yes. Hubbled up. Oh, All righty. As soon as I I see them, I I run up, and I'm like waving frantically, <laughs> and I run up, and I'm like, okay, okay, guys. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna go to to Al and be like, I didn't know you could move. That's that's rocks, right? <laughs> yes, it's it's a, it's a, a oh right. Hold up, sorry, backpedal accent. Yes, it's it's me. It's me, Roxy. Thank <laughs> you. <laughs> I would run up to them and actually hug himself first. <laughs> All right. You guys are okay. What, what happened? happened? Um. So, um, your boyfriend. I mean, sorry, your friend. Um, <laughs> you in, he um spirited me away with this little bracelet. You, you failed to mention that that was a thing that could happen. <laughs> so. <laughs> Yeah. Anyway, we fought a plant. It was awesome. It was so cool. Um, and and that's pretty much it. But everyone's okay. <laughs> everyone's yeah. Fine. Everyone. Everyone's all right. Yeah. Are, are you sure? Yeah. Oh, Na Naila got a little bit hurt, but she's all right now. I I gave her some some plants. So plants fix everything. <laughs> yeah. Plant plants fix everything. Who to thunk it? Yeah. You know? So he'll he'll kind of look at you and just be like, "Wait, th your robes, they're orange. W when did they change?" Ah, uh, they just sort of did. I, I have I have no idea. <laughs> I couldn't tell you. <laughs> wow. I mean, whatever you did must have been great then. If if the robes changed for you, hopefully, hopefully they stay orange when they come back to my body. Maybe I'm just cooler than you, Albion. She says, like, with a playful grin. <laughs> well, I'm just glad you're okay, because I kind of thought it might have been the bracelet, and he'll look at Finn and just kind of give him a smile, but um, we we weren't sure what happened. I, I should have told you about that. I kind of forgot. I told uh, Juan and Levi after you left that's what we hoped had happened. Yeah, oh, and, and, yeah, you should have told me that, because... Something interesting happened because I tried to save you from that. You know what? What do you mean? I'll I'll tell you later. He just okay. looks like, and, and when he says that, he's gonna like rub his neck like. She's like, looking at you, and just like giving you this really stern look like. We'll, fucking, we'll talk about this later, all right? <laughs> we're, we're talking about this later. So she, like, kind of looks really, like, at you. I'm just glad everyone's okay. Well, did you... She looks at Finn and then back at the group. Find anything. I mean, he's going to grab her by the shoulders and... We'll talk about this later. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and then I'll probably turn to Finn and let out a big sigh and give him a hug as well. Um, you'll he'll uh he'll he'll, he'll return the hug and he'll ask you, Al, is that you? Yeah, yeah. Sorry, it's yeah, it's me. And he'll look. What when when you say that his he clutches you even tighter. Than he did originally. I'm glad to see you're safe. So what happened? I mean, I'm assuming you. <coughs> I'm assuming you used the hoot or the the 
the bracelet? Yeah, I'm sorry. I I wasn't intending on using it at all, but it 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 wasn't me in danger. It was Naila. Is she okay? Okay. She's okay now. A, a little worse for wear, but thanks to Roxy, she got there in time to help. What happened? We ran into a gargantuan Venus flytrap, which Roxana will say. Anyway, it was overpowered us. It ended up swallowing, uh, swallowing uh, Naila whole. Naila was able to catch some sort of barrier spell. I think it was her house's secret spell or something along that. But anyway, she was decently well protected while inside, but we didn't have much time. But with Roxy's quick thinking, she was able to figure out the weaknesses of the plant. And we were able to get away unscathed, fortunately, for the most part. 